What up, cheese bags? Welcome back to the Max Power Channel. You're with your boy Mac10, and we are back at it again. First video in a while. It's uh, last been pretty busy, so uh, we haven't had much of a chance to uh, to open too much up on the channel. So we thought we'd come back and hit it with a nice YouTube exclusive, um, something a little bit different today. We got the 2016 Future Force. Uh, that's a set that I haven't done yet before on stream. So uh, looking forward to get stuck right into that and. Uh, yeah, hopefully we have some good hits, so let's see how we go. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, really looking forward to getting into this one today. We got a box of the, uh, as you can see there, the Select 2016 AFL Future Force. Really looking forward to tearing into these guys. I've missed you, I've missed opening the cards. It's, uh, it's been a few weeks, work and life has been uh, pretty hectic for the last little while. So, uh, you know, I haven't had too much of a chance to... Uh, to cop any more cards. I have been holding on to these for a while. I'm still holding on to my uh, 2010 Prestige Footy Stars. Were they Footy Stars back then? I think it's just Select Prestige. Um, so look, I'm going to save those ones up for a special occasion, so stay tuned to the socials for that. Um, all the links to the socials, guys, will be down in the description. Uh, make sure you check out all of our old card opening screams, screams? streams for, uh, you know, just for a bit of a good time. Go have a look at them, check out, we hit some really cool cards, especially in the Prestige Edition um, streams and also our Pokemon Chilling Rains unboxing that we did uh, about three, four weeks ago now, which was really fun. Hit some cool cards, had a good time. Always been a big Pokemon fan, so uh, yeah, it was really fun getting stuck into those. So uh, look, without further ado guys, here it is. The 2016 Select Future Force, it all starts here. As you can see here, you've got our little rarity chart there. So we've got our uh, our uh, Australian team captains. We've got the uh, the Sheehan Selects one per box gold. Um, what are they called? The uh, the gold or uh, gold Future Force signatures. There in there, we should get one of those. If we're lucky, we might even get a platinum. Uh, and then yeah, what else have we got here? We've got our uh, Nab twenty and twenty. That is one in every two boxes. And the NAB 2016 Draft Honor Roll, which as you can sort of just see there, is one in every six boxes. So, uh, big hits there if we're lucky. So, let's just uh, let's get stuck straight into them. Hope you guys have all been doing well out there. Shout outs to anyone who's doing it tough in lockdown at the moment, guys. I don't envy your position and uh, hope you guys can get through with uh, as little stuffery as possible. So, uh, so yeah, here it is. Look at that. Nice and shiny with the plastic off. She's looking good. We're just going to pop these open with our fancy little steak knife here. Now, I have not got a pair of scissors, have I? So, uh, we're just going to go into a, uh, a quick hold here, people. And we're back. We've got our scissors. We're all good to go, so I'm not scrumpling little bits of plastic for you every time we open a pack of cards. So, back to what we were doing, we're back in, look at that, let's make it rain, I'll just toss those away over there. So as you can see guys, 18 packs, they're not the biggest boxes, but uh, there are some good cards in here. Pack artwork looks very cool, nice little mix of colours there, and obviously you've got our, uh, our hit chart on the back there. Ah, oh, the little camera that could struggle a bit today, but there it is, so there we go, we've got our... Uh, Gold Foil Signatures, Platinum Foil Signatures, NAB Academy 20 in 20, and the 2016 Draft Honor Roll. They're the big hits that we're after, guys. Let's cut the decks. Let's shuffle these around. Now, I've never opened a box of these before, so I'm not sure where the rares lie in the, uh, you know, in the state of the pack. So uh, we'll, just, um, we'll just sort of go through them as we go and hopefully figure it out on the run. So here we are. First packet, 2016 Future Force. Let's get it. Nice little, uh, oh, here we go, and all right, so straight up to it, Jacob Allison from Queensland, nice looking cards, to be honest, um, yeah, very cool, quite like the, uh, I think Select have always made nice cards, so let's just keep going, Jack Mabum, oh, oh, stuck together, Will Hayward, now playing at the Sydney Swans, Jack Higgins, Mate, that goal of the year, what was it, three years ago? And then, uh, yeah, overcoming about a brain surgery and all sorts of things on you, Jackie. Now with the Saints, Tom Jock, Sam Fisher, Tom Williamson, I think now at Carlton, and that's it. 
Um, just a common pack. There are apparently in these boxes the common packs are a bit like the Prestige. You do get a few of them. So we'll just put those off to the side there and keep moving on through. Oh, Jesus. We're having a rough time of it today. I've been planning for about three days to uh, make sure we got this video done today and you wouldn't believe it, but I've woken up today with a, a light case of the fat tonsils. So uh, if I start to sound like the greasy teenager in The Simpsons, I'm sorry. Uh, struggling a little bit today. But uh, yeah, look, it's just, uh, just good to be opening some cards with you again. Not sure if the coffee's helping or hindering my voice, but uh, but here we go. All right, pack number two. We got Brad Shear from Queensland. Andy McGrath, there he is, the pick one. We might just put him off to the side. And there is our first little hit. We've got our Jordan Gallucci, all Australian. I think now the all Australians are one in every nine packets, I think. So I think we get two of these. Or maybe it's one in every three packets. These are sort of like your game breakers and all that sort of stuff. So. Nice gold trim there. Very nice looking cards. It's a shame he doesn't have the mole on that one. Keep moving on. We got SPS, Sam Petrovsky Seaton, Charlie Spargo, and oh, Big Sean Darcy. One of my uh, one of my favourite non-West Coast boys. We'll get him we're going over there. We'll put our, uh, our Gallucci AA card just up there. We'll try and get it off the glare. There we go. That's a little bit better. And we'll just keep rolling on. So yeah, let's have a look. What have we got on the back here? The All Australians are one in every three packets. Uh, as you can sort of see there. The 10 captains are the one in nines. Everything else is, uh, I think, box hits after that. Yeah, that's it. So we should definitely get our, uh, our Sheehan Select and our, uh, and our draft signature. Uh, really hoping for the Andy McGrath, obviously being pick one. That's sort of the signature you probably want. Tim Taranto, Hugh McGluggage rounding out the top three. Uh, now, who else was there that year? I think Ben Answorth at four, Will Setterfield at five, Sam Petrovsky Seaton, who we just saw before at six. Uh, then was it Jack Scrimshaw, Griffin Logue, Will Brody, and Jack Bowes. If I've memorized that quickly, if I'm not, hit me up in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. And we'll roll into pack number three. We got Josh Williams from Queensland, Dan Venables. Really sad to uh, to sort of really get the gist of Dan's story um, over the last few weeks with his uh, with that massive concussion that he copped, um, you know, and it's essentially cost him his career in footy, um, which is a shame, you know. He's probably, I think he's one of only about, there's not too many other premiership players from that draft, um, obviously because it was only a few years ago. They can only really come from two teams at the moment. Peter Laddams, oh, and there's our signature. That is our gold signature, Jack Bowes. Young Queensland player, now playing at the Gold Coast. And that's a numbered card, so let's just see how we went on that one. Number 97 of 200. So that's one of our box hits. Jack Bowes. Gold, unfortunately, not the uh, not the Platinum, so it's a 1 in 200, not a 1 in 40. Just going to get a little sleeve for him and get him straight in. You know what? It wasn't the uh, it wasn't the uh, the top picks of McGrath, Taranto, and McGluggage, but he is a top ten pick, so uh, pretty happy with that. And he does play for my uh, my Gold Coast Suns, I like to call them. So uh, very very pretty pretty happy with that, to be honest. I don't think I can really uh, complain too much about that. There's uh, you know there's a pretty big list of uh, of draft picks that year, and uh, let's just get this top loader loaded up nice, and we'll put him up there. So that's very cool. That's our gold signature, 2016, Jack Bowes. Um, we'll just fly through the comments here. We got Angus Baker. That's one of the um, the team cards. So Vic Country and uh, the teams that were, uh, yeah, Vic Country team logo uh, and players in that team. So that's how that one works. We'll uh, just toss these comments over there. Bit of a, uh, always nice to get uh, one of the box hits in nice and early. Pretty happy with that one. Having a, having a bit of a breakout year, Jack Bowes, really, in, in, in fantasy sense, especially. But uh, he's been pretty good at the Gold Coast. They're, uh, they're a team I like to watch pretty closely, just because I uh, do take part in some keeper leagues and play a lot of fantasy and super coach. So, uh, you know, they're, they're a pretty relevant team. So that's good to see. Uh, and, and actually coming up with some wins this year, which has been nice. Uh, anyways, moving on to the next pack, we got uh, Peter Laddams. There's our Timmy Taranto, pick two in the draft. 
Rowan Armstrong. And there's our 20 in 20, Chris Judd. Very, very cool. I may have just purchased a card very similar to this uh, from eBay as a one-off. Um, so that is a 2020. That is a, um, what did we say? One in three box hit. So um, look, that's a, can't really see the, uh, the sort of the rainbow trim there. My hand's in the way a bit. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Looking very young, Juddy with hair. Well, uh, in fact, we're going to sleeve that one straight up as well, I think. So, away we go there. So, that is, yeah, Chris Jar, 20 in 20. It is numbered, it is a 15 out of 180. There it is. 15 of 180. Oh, and we've out of focus again. And there he is. Look at that, young Juddy. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing to see him with a bit of hair on his head. He looks so young. Preferably before, probably before he was a bit of a dickhead, too. <laughs> Anyways, my personal opinions on players shouldn't matter to you and they don't matter to me when we're opening cards. It's all about the hits here. So that's pretty cool. So that's, uh, you know, we've, we've already done well on that one. We've already got a one in three box hit, uh, as well as our box hit. And I'm assuming we still have one box hit to come. So, uh... Hopefully we don't knock it all out in the same uh, the same packet every time. Uh, we're going to try something here. We're going to go one, two, and three to the front and bring these around here. Isaac Cumming, another one who's having a bit of a breakout year in fantasy terms. Mitch McCarthy, Shy Bolton, another one who's uh, you know really coming to the front of the pack there. Brandon Parfit, oh, Hamish Brayshaw, Kim Lebois. Le Bois, Le Bois, maybe that maybe it's French, who knows? And there is our all Australian Brennan Cox for South Australia. We'll chuck him up here as well. So yeah, the all Australians are the one in three pack, so we should end up with oh, what's that? Six of those. Um and then we should also end up with two team captain cards as well as all our box hits. So Let's try this again. Let's go one, two, three to the front. I think we've worked it out now. I think that's uh, I think that's the range. So here we are: Connor Byrne, Jared Berry, Quentin Narkel, Northern Territory team card, Ollie Fuller, Rent, Florent, Brennan Cox again, and there is our team captain, one in nine pack hit of Jared Berry. Very nice. Very, very slick cards, a lot of these, you know, they're all, all the gold trim and stuff, they look great. Plop him up here as well. One thing, I never, I suppose I went a very long time without collecting footy cards. There was a long time where we, uh, where I, um, you know, sort of turned away for the hobby for a very long time, for, you know, probably about 10 years. And uh, it's really good to see the quality of the cards getting, getting to a point, you know, over the last sort of five or six years where... I mean, you know, I don't know if you uh, remember where we opened the uh, the Players' Choice 1994, uh, what were they, Collector's Choice, sorry, the AFL Players Association cards, just printed on cardboard, no sheen, no shine, no good sort of trim or anything, they were really old school. Um, and here we are, now we've got these cards that are just on par with most other sporting cards, they all look great. So anyway, moving right along, we got a little bit of Charlie Spargo action, Big Sean Darcy again. Matt Guelphie, currently at the Bombers. Mitch Hinge. I don't know what happened to Mitch Hinge. Josh Williams. Dan Venables again. SPS. Sam Petrovsky seaton And that is just one common pack. So, should still have a few of those to come. Uh, that's only the second one I think we've done today. Keep on keeping on here. Oh, a oh, bit dicey with the scissors. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> and let's go out one, two, and three to the front. All right, Miles Paholke, Kobe March, Joe Atley, Jamie Hampton, Declan Watson, Ben Jarman, and another common pack ending with SPS. So I think we've done pretty well so far. Um, like I said, we've sort of got the extra box hit, which is nice. It's always nice when you just don't get a one hit wonder box. I think the uh, I think we've been pretty lucky on the channel as a whole. I've always had pretty good luck with uh, with opening cards and you know getting good hits in the boxes that I do buy. I think the it was only the very first box that we did on stream. God, what was that about? It must have been about four or five months ago. Now it was the only one-hit wonder box we've had. So uh, 
look again if you want to see what we've done check them out it's all uh it's all up here on the youtube channel so uh and all obviously all the links to our um social media links will all be down in the description uh don't forget to smash that like button give us a subscribe if you like the content um and if you don't well you know that's fine too if you're just here for a short time and not a long time that's all good anyways moving on one of my boys joshy rotham ben davis jai simpkin having a good year Timmy Taranto again, Rowan Armstrong, Paddy Kerr, and Darcy Fogarty. That's it. So that's another. We're, fine. We're starting to get through some of those common only packs, aren't we? Really looking forward to uh, Select's new Optimum release, which uh, I believe is on the on the 22nd of August. They're going to be doing a uh, bit of a live stream talking about that one. So. Uh, if you are into the hobby and you uh, and you are looking uh, looking at what the next set is, it is coming from Select. It is Optimum. Uh, chances are, if you're watching these videos, you probably knew that already, though. And let's just keep keeping on. One, two, three. Another good big WA tall there in Timmy English, Harrison McCready, Jimmy Warple, Jack Rolls, Brody Romensky, Jonty Sharonberg. And here's another one of our all-Australian, all-Australian, Kobe March. Very nice looking card. Sort of faded a bit. Uh, you know, he came, Kobe Much came up with huge, um, huge hype in the fantasy community uh, as a young player. And uh, yeah, really hasn't seemed to, you know, be, man be able to have taken that next step. He hasn't managed to really cement his spot in the side down at Essendon. Um, so he's hoping that's, uh, that's not too far away because he was a pig in his junior days. Coming in again, oh god, now, let's have a little bit of Luke, Stridnakia, Nadika, Stridnadika, I think that's as close as we're going to get on that one, <laughs> Harry Perryman, Will Brody, Taylor Duman, Queensland Team Cards, Sam Hayes, and Andy McGrath, Team Captain, that's pretty cool, I'm pretty glad we got the, uh, the McGrath Team Captain out of the two that we've got, given that he did go at the number one pick. Not a numbered card or anything, but still very nice. Very nice indeed. In fact, he's going straight in the sleeve. I'm a big fan of Andy McGrath. I think he's a great guy, great player. Um, not, I'm not much of an Essendon fan, to be honest. They're not one of my, uh, they're not one of my teams, that's for sure. But uh, big fan of Andy McGrath. Oh, oh, Jesus, we're throwing stuff everywhere. The wheels are falling off. <laughs> Oh, speaking of the wheels falling off, the West Coast Eagles, good God. What's going on with my boys? Whew. They are, uh, obviously the derby was yesterday at time of filming. Um, and I tell you what, yeah, what a what a bloody debacle that, that first quarter was especially. Anyways, still, I still got my sons. So it's not all, it's not all doom and gloom. We're on the way up. We're not going to Tassie. <laughs> Coming in here, we got Griffin Logue, first card off the rank. Zach Sproul, another guy who's sort of come to the party a bit this year. Huma Glugos, Jake Pittman, Tony Orlango, Dylan Clark, Jackson Lee, and that is another common pack. I'm gonna put all those there. We are down to one, two, three, four, five, six packs left, guys. Six packs left. Hoping we still got another box hit in here somewhere. I'm assuming we get our Sheehan selects. Um, I was really hoping if we did get a 20 and 20 that we'd get the Nick Nat one, but uh, Juddy's pretty good too, so uh, so pretty happy with that one. And again, a top 10 pick on the uh, on the signature card. Pretty happy with that. There's uh, very interesting times for the footy card hobby at the moment. You know, a lot of people getting their cards graded. Um, if you're into if you're into sort of the more I don't know the the financial dynamics and stuff of the hobby, check out DTV Collectibles. Great channel. Uh, really informative. Um, goes through a lot of that kind of stuff, um, you know, just on where the, uh, you know, the more financial side of, you know, how the market works, the footy cards and all that. I find it really interesting. I'm a bit of a nerd for stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, check me out. Great channel. Um, anyways, moving on to our sixth last packet. Starting it off with the uh, New South Wales ACT team card. Jared Korofa. I think that's right. I think WH in uh, uh, in New Zealand is a is a f sound. Uh, Jeremy Goddard, Elliot Himmelberg, Corey Lyons, Jack Graham. I thought Jack Graham was a bit older than that, to be honest. And Cam Zerha. 
I had no idea Cam's O'Hara was from WA. There you go. Look at that. I always thought he was from Tassie. <laughs> Goes to show how uh, how astutely I followed the uh, 2016 draft. Anyway, I got the top 10 right though. I think <laughs> I got the important ones right. And let's go out one, two, three to the front. And then he started off with a snaggy Jake Waterman, Todd Marshall, Lockie O'Brien, South Australian team card, Jordan Ridley, Ben Long, and Jordan Gallucci at the back. Another base packet there. Oh, five to go. I said five, I said six to go last time, didn't I? Oh, it's not. We're down to five. We got one more big hit in us or what? Here's hoping. One, two, and three to the front. Bringing that in here, we have got Noah Hura, Ryan Garthwaite, Willem Drew, Alex Villas, Brad Shear, Andy McGrath again, and here we have our, uh, I think our last All-Australian card, Zach Fisher, now with the Blues, not doing a heap up there from what I've, uh, from what I've seen, but I don't watch too much Carlton for uh, Carlton games. For obvious reasons, being they're just horrible to watch. <laughs> Um, you know, and they're not, and again, not one of my favourite teams. I don't hate anyone, but uh, Carlton, they're not my favourite. It's hard to hate someone who's just, it's hard to hate a team in general. It's hard to hate people in general, but uh, hard to hate a footy team that's been useless for so long, you know. They've, they've never really been a threat, so it's really hard to, you know, they very rarely rub the salt in with a big win, you know. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along here, we've got Liam Baker, Maxie Lynch, Ben Ainsworth, Taron Thomas, one of my boys from my Keeper League team, who's absolutely broken out this year, putting himself into a, he's definitely in uh, in keeper, keeper discussions this year down at the Max Power Keeper League team. Stephen Slimming and another All-Australian, Joshy Battle, now doing his thing up at the Saints. Been pretty good, another guy who's probably really ready to take that next step, uh, hopefully next season. Um, hopefully for him, and St Kilda, I'd always like to see the Saints do well, you know. Second last pack here, guys. Let's see what we can get. And we'll do our one, two, three to the front. Bringing it in with a bit of Zach Fish. I'll tell you what, all of our uh, WA cards seem to be at the start, at the start of our packs at the moment. Will Setterfield, Alex Witherden, now, uh, now rocking it with the Eagles. Jack Scrimshaw. How are we going there with that? We're having a little focus issues again, aren't we? Ah, you've sort of seen most of the cards by now. Tazzy team card. Joshy Dacos and Sam Walker, the All Australian, the South Australian under. What are these guys? Under 18 carnival, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Well put him up there. Sam Walker, to be honest, I'm not even sure where he got drafted or if he's still playing. One of those guys that, uh, you know, sometimes the high draft picks and, uh, you know, it just doesn't work out. I mean, I, I look at guys like Luke Valente. Why isn't he got a game? He was he was the captain of the uh, the South Australian team, I think it was. And bringing in now, it must be a thing with the order of the cards must all be in the same because here we are, the Black Swan, the WA team card, and we got Fletcher Carroll, we got Josh Battle, Tyson Stengel, Jack Bowes, we got him with our, our little signature there, Cal Brown, and here is our Sheen selects Ben Davis. The very last card of the video. Oh, we've done that a couple of times. Had a big hit on the last card here at uh, here at the Max Power Channel. So there it is, Ben Davies. Now, I think he's playing for Adelaide at the moment. They're not a numbered card or anything, but uh, but that's that one. Let's just put you in here. So that's not a bad little haul today, guys. Pretty good. We got a we got a top ten draft pick signature. Pretty happy with that. Um, and then let's just go through the other cards that we got. So we'll start it off with our uh, with our all Australians. So Sam Walker, Josh Battle, Zach Fisher. Tell you what, these uh, these gold trims and these reflections are really it really messes with our light a little bit here, doesn't it? Zach Fisher, Brennan Cox. Kobe Much, and Jordan Gallucci. Moving on to our uh, 
Our 10 captains, our number one pick, Andy McGrath. Very happy with that hit. That's That was one of the ones I was sort of hoping we'd get for this one. Jared Berry as well. Then we got our Sheehan Selects, one in one box hit of Ben Davis. Our one in three box hit, probably probably the card of, of the box, to be honest. Um, Chris Judd, 20 and 20, lowish number, 15 out of 180. Pretty happy with that. And then, and then this, our Jack Bowes gold signature rookie card. Very happy with that as well. So guys, it's been, it's been a pretty successful box. I was really looking forward to opening those. I sort of, not, in the last few years, I've gotten a lot more nerdy about the draft, and I, I really hope that Select keep it up with these, uh, with these under 18 Future Force uh, releases. Um, 